birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, little Kona. Happy birthday to you. We love you. It's Kona's fifth birthday, and Adam turned 31 this week. Yeah, super excited. super excited for her birthday. So we're on a little weekend adventure to celebrate both of them. We're at Olympic National Park this weekend, Ooh. which is one of Washington's three national parks and it's most visited. It gets 3.4 million visitors a year and it's the eighth most visited national park in the US. Yeah, we're gonna be camping and hiking. Uh, we're excited because it's uh, one of the or one of uh, the 23 UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the United States and it's also uh, been declared the quietest place in the lower 48. <laughs> One other reason why we love coming here is it has so many different ecosystems. There's lakes, waterfalls, mountains with tons of snow, 60 named glaciers, um, tons of coastline, uh, and also multiple rainforests. So it's very diverse to come here. You could be at the beach one second and then the mountains, not another second, maybe a few hours later, <laughs> but close enough. And last and maybe least, I don't know, it kind of depends on where you stand on this, it's where the movie Twilight was filmed slash set in. So if you're a Twilight fan, uh, more reason to come here. We have a feeling that brought a lot more people here in the yeah. past few years. Um, we personally haven't seen the movies, but we drive through Forks and we see all the little like, welcome to Twilight signs. So um, we're super excited. Uh, set up our tent and we're about to get going on our first little adventure. the goods we're good to go we're headed to Cape Flattery um, and to go there you have to get this special permit because it's on the macaw I think is maybe how you say it um, tribal reservation so you have to get this $10 permit to be able to go there um, super easy a few places in town right before sell it um, now we're ready to roll we just got to Cape Flattery, which was about a two hour drive from our campground. Um, there's really great views along the way of the water. Uh, so it wasn't a bad drive at all. Um, we have not eaten though in like six or seven hours. So we're starting to get a little bit hangry. So we're making a quick lunch before we get going on the trail. All right, welcome to Cooking with Adam. We got a bunch of cut up uh, red, green, orange, bell pepper and some chicken sausage going in two pans on the camper stove here. It's gonna be good, gonna be delicious. Coming right along. All right, much better. We've eaten, we're all in good moods now. We're ready to go on the Cape Flattery Trail. So this hike is more like a walk than a hike. It's 1.5 miles round trip. And from what we remember, cause we've done it once before, it's not very steep. So I'm not totally sure if our memory is correct or not, but the super awesome thing about this hike is it takes you to the northwesternmost point of the continental US. So besides Alaska, obviously, this is the most Northwest you can go on the lower 48. So that's really exciting. Um, and the views were amazing last time and it's super sunny out today. So we're hoping for some good views um, of the water and of these really cool rock structures that we'll show you guys. Just left Cape Flattery and now we're heading to Hurricane Ridge. There's a National Park Visitor Center there. It's an overlook that overlooks the uh, Olympic uh, Mountains. The ranger this morning told us that there was a report of around one inch of snow. So we're hoping to see some snow, um, but we're hoping to be able to get there also because we, um, sometimes with the snow they have to close the road. 
um, but the ranger didn't know, so we're gonna go check it out for ourselves. Please have snow, that'd be so fun. We're also feeling a little bit rushed because of daylight savings. So the sun sets at four something up there and it's two something right now. We have a two hour drive. So we're kind of scared that we're gonna be cutting it a little bit close and we like to really just enjoy sunset. So we'll see, hopefully everything goes smoothly getting there. look promising might be a view of clouds instead of mountains Rika and that continued for look at this two years two cleared years. up yeah. two years until they said we want you back in the office almost like why the pivot on their part we rarely get lucky when it comes to weather like this but it looks like we're getting lucky today hopefully we don't want to speak too soon. Not there yet. We're not there yet and it's getting a little foggier, but we can kind of see the sun. So this looks promising. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And there's ice. There's some ice. <laughs> this is awesome. So beautiful! Freaking awesome sunset turned out. We were a little nervous on the way up, but it turned out awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you see all those clouds behind us, we were underneath that, and I yeah. had some faith that we'd pop out, and we did. So I'm very right, look happy. Look at that Alpen glow over there. I almost fell. I embarrass myself in front of everyone. On the ground. My hands hurt. I'm almost crying. Oh, they hurt so really bad. Good. I'm such a wimp. It's worth it though. <laughs> Super worth it. Those seat warmers. They're gonna be clutch. <laughs> Whoa, heat warmers on, please. Our car's steaming up because we have <laughs> it so hot up. in here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Still haven't recovered the feeling in my fingers yet. It's painful. <laughs> Don't cry. We're making coffee on this very chilly morning. The campground. Not all heroes wear capes, y'all. <laughs> we have our coffee and we're now ready to go. We camped last night at Heart of the Hills. Heart of the Hills. <laughs> that's how we normally say it. Um, it's a campground that's about 15 to 20 minutes from Hurricane Ridge, so it's a great spot if you wanna go check out that area. Um, it's a first come first serve campground, which we normally don't do because we like to know we have somewhere to sleep. But we got here yesterday at like 8 a.m. and there were a few spots available. Um, it's a low season, so not many people are trying to camp in this cold weather. So it worked out great for us. We had a secluded spot, they have a bathroom, um, they allow dogs, which dogs aren't allowed at national parks, but they are at some of the campgrounds. So um, it gets an A plus in my book. We're at Murhut Falls in the Olympic National Forest. It's a 1.6, I think, mile hike to some beautiful waterfalls. So we're gonna go check it out. Lifesaver on a chilly morning. Early Hot morning hands. hike. Early morning hike. Got to have these. Little hotties at Costco. We buy them in bulk. <laughs> That may be one of our favorite waterfalls yeah. in Washington. We love Falls Creek Falls, which is kind of near the Columbia River Gorge in the 
Gifford Pinchot, I think, National something Forest, like <laughs> something like that. Um, but it, this is probably in our top three as well. Yeah, yeah, it, it might be the, the time of year. Uh, it's really cold and we're here early this morning. Uh, so there was only one other group of three here. Um, so, I mean, that that's takes a it huge to the next win. level. <laughs> yeah. We love going to places where there's less people and that's kind of, of rare in Washington. Yeah. So we highly recommend this one and try to come in the off season because like we said, only one other group and you can't yeah. really beat that. Yeah. We are at Mount Eleanor at the Olympic National Forest. We are doing the upper trailhead instead of the lower trailhead, which cuts off about two miles. However, it's way more steep. Yeah, yeah, so it's about 3.2 miles round trip and 2,444 feet of elevation. Um, so it goes up quick and uh, it should be a toughy <laughs> character building grade, they say. Someone, yeah, someone actually said it's <laughs> character building. So should be pretty hard, but it'll tire Kona out, which is good because she's been very anxious this yeah. weekend. A little whiny, um, hates being in the car this much. So we're hoping she gets tired and then sleeps the whole way home. Mm -hmm. And we get a good workout. <laughs> Leave, we're going up there. Oof, this is no doubter. Leg burner, lung burner. It's tough. But look at the view. Sick views. For sure worth it. I feel like singing my, Miley Cyrus's The Climb. Almost to the top. I think we're not at the top, but we're super close. We did it! Ooh. Rough. <laughs> So we're headed back down. It was definitely a tough hike, but oh my gosh, the weather today is crazy. You can see all the mountains, Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, Mount Adams, Mount Baker. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's really rare that we get so many sunny days in the fall. And we're gonna cross our fingers it continues because we've had the best time adventuring this no October, November with tons of sunshine. <laughs> we did it. All right, you can check Mount Eleanor off the list there. It was a toughie. But we have a tradition we always uh, do when we head to the Olympic Peninsula, so we're making one more stop on the way home. Stop on our Olympic Peninsula weekend is Olympia Coffee Roasting, which we always stop at whenever we're near Olympia on our way to the peninsula. Just really good coffee, a really cool space. They have a roastery inside. Um, just an awesome stop before going to the peninsula or on the way back to get that caffeine boost. I got their spiced latte and it's basically the holidays in a cup. Super it's so good. good. <laughs> Adam wants to steal it. <laughs> yeah, I want to trade. I just got a pour over, but I got a delicious uh, El Salvador and it said like, I want to say it was like brown sugar and like lime and like something else, but I, I don't know. I'm bad at tasting what they say, but it's really good. <laughs> All right, and now we're headed back to Seattle. We got caffeine in hand and we're ready to go. We're almost home. Fueled up, ready to go. We had an incredible weekend on the Olympic Peninsula. We are home, oh, we're yeah. gonna relax and then conquer the week and then we'll have another fun adventure next weekend. Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Testing, testing, one, two, three, mic check, one, two. <laughs> Miles round trip. Um, I mean like the Titanic in here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go chasing waterfalls. Just kidding, we are. 